Due to the economic sanctions imposed by the West on Russian banking system, the procurement of new weapon systems have become difficult, so India has started indigenizing nearly 600 elements used primarily in Russian aviation systems, and will also procure Russian technology in order to advance its program instead. India is already in talks with Russia for specific technology purchase, that includes transfer of Zircon hypersonic missile technology, that will be used in BrahMos 2K hypersonic program. There will be a delay in the delivery of last 2S400 squadrons, and this might open a door for India, and could push the two countries into cooperation. The Russian Federation needs money, and the only logical solution is to export a large part of its production to India, under which India will gain access to manufacturing S-400 subsystems and components locally. Russia has already offered the S-500 system to India, and Russian Deputy Prime Minister had said, that India could be the first foreign buyer of the S-500 Prometheus air defense system. The Indian Navy inducted MiG-29K fighters in 2010, but it will get rid of the entire fleet of 41 jets from service by 2035 onwards, after only 25 years of service in the Navy. The Navy intends to replace the MiG-29K fleet with 45 twin-engine deck-based fighters that is set to enter production in 2031, but the Navy is unsure that the MiG-29K fleet will last beyond 2030, due to airframe defects discrepancies and anomalies. To relieve the pressure on the MiG-29K fleet, the Navy is procuring 26 Rafale Marine fighter jets, and the deal will be announced in July. The Indian Air Force is looking to purchase 80 medium transport aircraft to be used as medium haul transporters, for which it has already solicited bids from international aerospace companies to jointly manufacture them in the country under transfer of technology. As per latest reports, the same platform will also be used for the development of flight refueling aircraft and airborne early warning and control aircraft. The Indian Air Force will start induction of six Netra Mark II airborne early warning and control aircraft mounted on X Air India Airbus A321 from 2026 onwards, but the total requirement is for nearly 18 units on both fronts. The Indian Air Force also intends to have 12 full-time refuelers and 12 mini multi-mission tanker transport aircraft based on the medium transport aircraft platform. The Parliamentary Standing Committee on Defence has recommended that in the current fiscal year, more funds must be granted to the DRDO for defence research and development. The committee found that the percentage share of the defence research and development budget to total GDP has come down, and when the allocations are consistently going down, it will be difficult for DRDO to attain developmental goals, and to attain an edge over adversaries. IIT Kanpur's Technology Business Incubator, the Startup Incubation and Innovation Center has signed an agreement with Advanced Weapons and Equipment India Limited, and the partnership aims to provide financial support to the startup ecosystem, and also promote the incubation of new technology knowledge and innovation-based startups at IIT Kanpur. Six F-15 fighter jets, one C-17, two C-130J, and two B-1B strategic bombers of the U.S. Air Force have arrived in West Bengal to participate in COP India 2023 air combat exercise. While the Indian Air Force has deployed its Su-30 fighters, C-130J, and C-17 aircraft. The exercise also includes the presence of Japanese Air Self-Defense Force aircrew, who will participate in the capacity of observers. The exercise will focus on interoperability, honing air combat tactics for joint operations, air mobility, and will also involve special forces assets from both the air forces, 